Let's talk for a couple minutes today about can you stand your ground in Washington State? Under RCW 9A.16.110, our state legislature says that no person shall ever be placed in any type of legal jeopardy, criminal or civil, for using reasonable force to defend themselves. That same statute has absolutely no geographical restriction as to where we have the right to use force in defense of ourselves or others. When we take a look at case law in Washington State, it's very clear that although we don't use the terms of castle doctrine or stand your ground, Washington State clearly has a no duty to retreat. What that legally means to you, the lawful and responsible gun owner, is that, is that so long as you are in a location in which you are lawfully allowed to be, you are under no duty to retreat. If you are encountered with unlawful force, a threat to you or somebody else or a threat to your property while you are lawfully located in that location, you are under no legal duty to retreat and you can use all reasonable, necessary, and proportional force in defense of yourself or others. Now, please remember what we talk about all the time here at Washington Gun Law. It is one thing to know what you have the right to do. It is another thing to know what the right thing to do is. Sometimes retreat will make for a far better self-defense case, and that really goes on a case-by-case -case basis. Listen, for more detailed discussions about this topic, visit us over at YouTube. I'm William Kirk, President of Washington Gun Law, and you've been watching Bullet Points.